Hi, it's Mr. Adams from Middle High School. This is a video on addition and condensation polymerization. Um, both types of polymerization, right, are very, very important to us. They create a wide range of products. And also, you have natural polymers like DNA. And they work basically on the same principle. Um, you have monomers, right, which from experience we know are individual units. And they link together to make a very long chain molecule called a polymer. So if you have a picture like this, right, this rep N represents a number of individual units of so the monomer. For example, they could be, I don't know, a million or 100,000, 200,000, whatever, right? But the thing is, they eventually link together, and the link or large molecule will be this number of units long. So, for example, we have these links right here. Okay, they link together. You get that number of um, links in your polymer because these are individual okay and these are together right here, a huge long molecule um polymers are used in the production of clothing plastic and a whole variety of things that like you said before okay so um there we go all right that's so that's addition polymerization quite simple all right once again you won't be asked to draw this you'll be asked to recognize it all right condensation polymerization is very very similar to addition polymerization okay in this um um Example right here, we have an amine group and a COOH acid group. This is actually amino acid. And the amino acid, we know from the living environment, amino acids are used to um, uh, synthesize uh, protein, okay? And uh, also create DNA, right? Okay, so what happens here in condensation polymerization? We have the same thing where monomers come together, but you also get the production of water. All right, so that's the only basic difference between um, addition polymerization and condensation polymerization. You form water with condensation polymerization. And notice on this end, this amino group could react with an acid group, and this um, acid OH from here could react with another amine group, so it could continue going to create a poly peptide okay so this bond right here guys let's call the amide bond is also called a peptide bond sometimes all right so just watch out for that but otherwise basically that's it condensation polymerization addition polymerization basically same thing but you get water with condensation condensation polymerization as always hard work plus sacrifice equals success hope this video was a help hope you guys are studying take care